Hello Cancer, welcome to your December 2019 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Before I get started I wanted to let you know that I have my 2020 yearly forecasts up. So if you'd like to find out what 2020 has in store for you and your loved ones, please do check out the link in the descriptions box below. Okay Cancer, let's take a look at your oracles. There's an overall energy around this entire reading, Cancer, of needing to follow your own dream, your own purpose, not to be swayed by others and what what is tradition or tradition in your neck of the woods, within your family perhaps. So following your own dream, being authentically you. Cancer, you might have been following a plan or a path that's not truly your own. And I get you may be deciding to take steps to live in a way that is not only authentic and truly your own, but maybe a little bit rebellious, wishing to live in your own world, not making decisions or staying with people or in jobs that are not part of your dream, not being directed or governed by the desires and dreams of others, but rather deciding to make some big changes toward following a path that is your soul's true dream for its evolution. Around you, the energy of the other person we have the queen of the light but it's in the challenge position now when the queen of the light is in the upright position it speaks of illumination enlightenment and a time of celebration and success when it's in the reverse in the challenge position there's an energy of giving into fear hiding yourself for fear of rejection afraid of success or to being just as afraid of success as you are of failure. That's the energy around this other person. The light of the divine here is a powerful one. It's not your ego though, it's that authentic place of self-expression. Look how look also, I feel, at how someone is affected by glitter, glamour, superficiality, what appears on the surface, being mesmerized by false power. That kind of energy is very fleeting. It doesn't last forever. So they're being asked to make sure that their intentions come from deep within and not to base them just on power or what they think love will do for them. Ask instead what they can offer, not what you can give. So that's the energy around this other person, Cancer. Overall, as above this reading, what's crowning you is an intention card from the Quantum Oracle. And it speaks about going backwards and forwards. So being in two minds, it's kind of like a two of swords energy that I'm feeling around that. So Cancer, you're in two minds about this person and you're going backwards and forwards trying to make a decision, maybe whether or not to be involved with this person, but let's take a look. It's asking for you to be authentic and not to be driven by another's desires. Cancer, where do we go from here? bottom of the deck we've got the high priestess I feel that's you there's a coolness there I don't feel that you let on what goes beneath uh, very much a feeling of you keeping things to yourself air of unattainability possibly there's also a, a kind of aloofness as well but definitely being your own person now let's lay out some cards And Cancer, let's take a look. The Two of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, it's this choice. It's weighing heavily on your mind. What is it that you want? Who is it that you want? Could be a person, could be a goal, a destination, a dream, a career. But there's definitely a need to choose one because I feel like at the moment it's becoming quite overwhelming needing to make this choice and trying to keep everything going all of the options in play here it's just a little bit difficult the Sun in reverse so there's a delay I get that this is a delay why am I feeling this is kind of like a sidetrack energy something delaying your progress yeah that's why we've got the Knight of Wands in reverse so you may not entirely trust this person to be on the up and up and when we think about being backwards and forwards, that's certainly the Knight of Wands in reverse. 
So you may be in two minds, this other person may be in two minds. A lot of frustration, indecision. So nobody's sure. I, I don't feel either one of you are sure here, Cancer, about what this is going to lead to. We've got the star and the seven of cups in reverse. So someone here is viewing things from reality. The other one, it's more of an ideal, a lofty goal. Keeping someone up as a pedestal, feeling that, on a pedestal rather, feeling that they are somehow higher, lifted up the star. So seeing you as the star cancer or you're seeing them as the star. So lofty ideals, goals, trying to attain this goal. But the other person here, however you, this resonates with you, is recognizing the reality of the situation as much more down to earth. We have the page of swords in reverse here. When it comes to the information that you're trying to base a decision on, I feel like it's kind of half-truths and misinformation. So you don't know everything you need to know in order to make a concrete decision. That's why I feel Spirit is asking you to do what's best for you and not to be too worried about what somebody else wants of you because that person needs to be focused on themselves and whatever they're trying to attain from you I don't feel that they're being truthful about it. So lies, misdirection. The Emperor in reverse, yeah, there's a power energy around this. There's someone who just wants power, someone who just wants some control over the, the situation. So they're coming into your life here, Cancer, wanting to gain control or regain control. We've got use the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles. So I feel that you're on your own. You're an independent person. You may be single. So you've got your guard up already. I get very strong barriers around you. And this is good because I feel you need this protective energy, especially around this particular individual who seems to be coming in telling you a bunch of um, hooey, really. I mean, that, that's an old term, an old Australian term, but it, it's a bunch of lies. It, it's, it's really uh, things that are fabricated. Now, the energy that I'm getting around you, Cancer, is uh, you're good where you're at. You're okay with how things are, and I see you not wanting to get involved with anything that's going to cause pain and distress. Yeah, I see you looking at this from a very real perspective. The other person, I think, has put you up on that pedestal. And we have the Ten of Cups as the outcome. Interesting energy. You know, it seems like the goal here is for emotional fulfillment. You want that. The other person wants that, but I feel like there is a need to attain this the right way. And what I mean by that is that you both have to want this Ten of Cups. I think that you you want to live your own life, create your own existence. I think you're good with that. This other person is wanting to live kind of vicariously through you, Cancer. And I think that you're being in a little bit of a quandary here. You undecided whether or not this is something you want to pursue. It seems like they're offering you something long term, but nevertheless, you're being asked to make a decision that's right for you moving forward and not to worry about this other individual and what they may want from you so let's see where this goes cancer i'll do the uh, dual reading so bear with me while i do some shuffling here so let's get your energy towards this person yeah i think that you're really worried i, I see you stressed out you're spending a lot of time thinking about what this is you know all you really want to do i think is just enjoy your life uh, that's a focus for you. You're thinking that this might be too much for you to, to take on. A little bit overwhelming, I think. And the other person. 
it seems that they're, they're wanting to move forward with you, but things are at a standstill at the present time. There does need to be changes made in order for this to go forward. Seems like they're coming rushing in here, though, with some kind of uh, communication. But I don't think this person has actually changed. I do get that this is someone that you've possibly known before, Cancer, or you've, you've had some kind of dealings with them. Let's see. I'll start with you, but either side can resonate. So whatever side resonates the most with you, that's your message. Cancer, let's start with the past energy around this, where you currently stand, where you hope to stand with this in the future, how you're viewing this person, doubts and fears around this, your challenge and the outcome. And at the bottom of the deck, what do we have there? Oh, we have two of wands. Yeah, again, decisions, right? It seems to be the order of the day for my Cancerians. Let's see, past energy for this person, where they currently stand with this, where they hope to stand with it in the future. Let's take a look and see how they're viewing you, their doubts and fears about this, the challenge they need to overcome, and the outcome. Okay. The Magician in Reverse and the Hanged Man in Reverse. So very much an energy of really, well, uh, it seems to me like I get something that is being repeated, a past cycle. The hanged man in reverse speaks to me of repeating things, doing the same thing over and over, but it doesn't lead to anything. The magician in reverse is the other person's energy. Yeah, actually I feel it's really speaking to me about an inability to do things a different way, to use their skills for the right reasons. They're very skilled. They're very good at what they do. They have talents, they have abilities, but some of these they use in the wrong way. And I get this energy around you both here of just doing things the same way, but it doesn't seem to work. Okay. Where you currently stand, we've got you here as the Empress, the other person, the High Priestess in reverse. So it seems to me like you are, although you haven't used your, your skills wisely in the past, let's just say that. Currently you seem to be doing okay. I think that you're focused on nurturing yourself, taking care of your own needs. This is you feeling pretty good with your current circumstances. The other person I think is needing to seek answers but I get that they're not really paying attention to their intuition. And I feel that this is someone who's not comfortable with quiet or stillness or alone time because they don't really want to look too deep. They don't want to look beneath. They don't want to find answers. So I get a very much a distractive kind of energy and repeating, repeating things from the past. Where you hope to stand with this in the future, you've got the Hierophant in reverse. The other person has the Seven of Wands in reverse. So they're looking at breaking down these barriers of yours, Cancer, overcoming the obstacles. But I feel like you've built up a very strong protective layer over the years, which is very hard to break down. Now, for you, I get you... Wanting, not wanting to follow tradition. I get you as being quite rebellious. You've done things a certain way in the past. They haven't worked for you. So you're starting to think to yourself, you know what, I don't want to do it that way. And when we speak about belonging to your own dream, a lot of that energy is about rebelling, living in your own way that's authentic and truly your own. 
and not making decisions or being with people or in jobs that are, are not truly you. So you've followed a, a certain way in the past, tradition, traditional values, but they weren't really your own. I think that they may have been uh, drummed into you possibly by uh, an institution of some kind. For some it's religion, others it could be culture, a family. But I get you wanting to change that. Okay, now how you're viewing this person, we have the three of cups in reverse. So this is someone in your social group, your social circle. They may be a third party. I do feel though this is more rather than a third party this is an element of not being on the same page with this person like when i see the three of cups in the uprights it's a call for celebration for happiness what brings you joy camaraderie getting along well but this is a uh, this is not that this is uh, someone that you don't feel is going to bring that happiness to your group cancer to a, a close-knit group that you have around you now how they're seeing you we've got the ten of swords in reverse so they're trying to come back after some kind of ending i think that they want to heal this they want to put this right make it make it better but it, it's more about them it, it's it's not it's not really what they're giving to you what they can provide to you it, it's more about them what they can get from you cancer now <coughs> doubts and fears we have the fool card for you and the other person has the ten of pentacles in reverse mm -hmm. so for you i think that you're doubting that you want to take a risk step off that that ledge there and see what happens I feel around this other person there's a fear of, of loss of uh, stability, uh, some monetary loss as well, around family or legacy. They may be getting out of something that where there was money involved, could have been a family situation or a marriage or a partnership. The challenge for you, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. The other person has the Five of Wands in reverse. So I get the challenge for you, Cancer, is I'm actually picking this up as another person, someone around you who's negatively aspected. This could have been the prior person's, uh, the, the person that you that's coming to you here, their former partner or someone that is around them. You view them as a, a negative uh, influence in your life. The Five of Wands challenge for the other person here seems to be about a lot of opposition possibly to what they're doing two of cups in reverse and the temperance for the other person so it seems like you you're not really looking at creating a partnership with this other person the other individual here i feel is trying to bring about a balance or that they're thinking that you're going to bring balance into their life where there is current confusion stress a lot of inner battles within themselves a lot of conflict there's conflict outside of it but I think that mainly this conflict is within themselves they're wanting to bring about peace in their lives they, they, they want to live a peaceful life but unfortunately I feel like you're not on the same page as this individual you're not looking at taking things down a relationship road I feel that you're really just focused on self at the moment cancer and living how you your life how you want to live and not really worrying about what anyone else wants from you so we'll see where this goes in the extended reading. I do hope that you join me. The link is below in the descriptions box that will be on the Vimeo channel. I'll be clarifying everything here. It goes for about 30 or so minutes. So if this is resonating, uh, please do join me in the extended reading. I'll be doing some oracles as well to see where this goes in the future. 
If you'd prefer a personal reading, of course, you can email me, gypsyinsights at gmail.com. I thank you for watching the Vimeo. Don't forget about those 2020 yearly forecasts as well. Those are linked in the box below. Wishing you the best. I will see you in part two or I will speak to you again soon. Happy holidays. Bye for now.